do your walkthrough on this Wildwood Travel Trailer, uh, 32 BHI. Going to start with the outside features of the unit and then move inside. Start at the front. At the front, you have your power tongue jack, which will lift and lower the front and back of the trailer, uh, front of the trailer. The extend and retract, the simple push the button, and we'll lift it up, retract, and we'll bring it down. Also, has an LED light for at nighttime when you're hooking up, so you have light while you're hooking. Coupling, lock pin, and the out. That is open, that is locked. Once you have the pin through, then you can latch it. Safety chains, when you hook up, you try and cross them. When you hook up to your vehicle, <coughs> if they're too long, you can twist them so that they're not dragging on the ground. This cable here is a breakaway switch, which activates if you become uncoupled from your tow vehicle in the trailer. The cable will pull out from the switch underneath in the inside of the frame and activate the trailer brakes. You do need a battery on the trailer in order to make that work. Propane tank cover. You have access to your valves to turn your propane tanks on and off by opening the hatch at the top. You can access your valves. The tank, the cover all comes off. In here, both tanks are full as we fill them with, their, with your PDI. Um, the only propane used is what we have for running everything up. Both tanks are open. This valve here on the regulator, you can see that it's got a green uh, color. Green color in there. Uh, that shows that the tank is full. Uh, when the tank goes empty, there's a little tab or arrow on here pointing that it's drawing from the tank on the left here. Once it's empty, this will turn red. You can change it over to the other tank and it'll start drawing from this propane tank. Both tanks can be open, it'll auto change over and start drawing from the other tank when it's empty. Behind the propane cover is your battery box. Uh, it comes with a Group 27, this battery, or this trailer. Um, it is not a maintenance free battery. You do have to pop the caps off the cells to check your water levels in the battery. If they are low, pop it off with distilled water. We're going to go around this side of the trailer. This trailer is pre wired for a Furion solar panel, so you can hook up and run a solar panel if you're dry camping. Storage compartments, they've got the thumb latch and key locks, and then the latch here to hold your door open. So in this storage compartment, we've got a light up in the front corner. <clears throat> also in here, we supply a park adapter, which is a 15 to a 30 amp adapter. Also, brand new water hose for you. This is an emergency crank handle. If your battery you don't have on the trailer, there's a cap on the top of your power tongue jack. Pop the rubber cap out, and then you can crank the jack manually. Some parts for your barbecue on the rear of the trailer. You get to that right away, and then a bag if you decide to take it off. There's also a holder up on the front for the emergency jack for the electric stabilizer jacks, which I'm gonna explain right now. So this trailer has the electric stabilizers. To extend them, simply push the button to put them down. Push the retract, bring them back up. This trailer also features the remote feature where you can open all of this with the push buttons on the remote and not have to go to the button. If you try and do it with the remote, we'll get to that after. You have to use the, only the remote, the button, it bypasses. Outside, you've got your outside speakers, the ground fault protected plug, the reset for this is inside, which we'll show you after. Just a door holder for when you open up your entry door. Assist handle for transport. You're going to have it in front of the door just because the awning arm's in the way. To lift it up, turn it, and that'll lock in position. The handle, go. The door has screen door separates from your door. And then you have a slide feature there. You don't have to open up the little glass, you can just push down and that'll open your door. Same from inside, it's got the handle there to activate the handle. When you close your door, the screen will open up back with it. So we'll put it to the door handle. Or the door holder. And steps. <coughs> Put the adjustable steps so they'll flip in, flip the handle, pull them down. 
If you're at an unlevel campsite, the legs are adjustable. Push this pin out, and then a leg will slide. If it needs to be shorter or longer, you can adjust it wherever the holes are for the pins. This one's nice and firm. We don't have to adjust those legs for in the shop. Again, switch for your rear stabilizer jack. Same thing. Extend and retract. Outside kitchen. Latch is there. It's on gas props. So the door will go up. So your outside fridge. Keep your beverages cold so you don't have to run in and out of the house or the trailer. Uh, it's also got a light out here. Sink hot cold for it. Storage compartment. Covered here. So this is your propane hose for the outside barbecue. Which is on the rear bumper. The rear bumper, there's a pin around on this side of the stove. And barbecue. Pull the pin out. And your barbecue. Bag that comes around. And then you can use the pin to lock it off if you want it on an angle. Or all the 90 degrees from the trailer. Bag for the barbecue. Get the propane to the barbecue. It's a quick coupler for the hoses. So there's a coupler underneath, which will couple it on there. On the trailer side, same thing. And you couple it into there. It's locked on. Right now, you won't get any propane until you flip this valve open. Once you flip that valve open, you also can't open the coupler. <coughs> Light the barbecue, open your lid, turn on your propane, turn the gas off, and push the igniter. And we're now ready to start cooking supper. back wall of the trailer is your city water connection which is if you're at a service site this is where you'll hook up your water to get your park service and that'll put water through your whole water system uh, for winterizing this system should do that at the end or do it winterizing there's a one-way valve in the center there's a little pin there uh, you have to release the pressure at the end of the system when you're done the winterizing Actually, I'll explain that at the end. Sorry. Spare tire on the rear bumper. Inside the rear bumper, sewer hose, brand new, 20 foot sewer hose. This dump assembly here, gate valve, so you'll twist your sewer or cap off, put the sewer hose on, and then open up the gate valve. Uh, this is the tank for the outside kitchen. While we're on the water, down here is the drain for your freshwater tank. The other dump station, which is the same thing, I'll take this cap off. Down here there's a smaller valve, which is for your gray tank. And then up here further in the frame is the black tank dump valve. Usually dump your black valve first, as that's your solid. Then you can rinse out the hose, dumping your gray after. These two caps here are low point drains. For your water system which you'll be using for winterizing purposes and for summarizing the unit when you summarize it in the spring. <coughs> the trailer's got a 30 amp service so it's got a twist lock plug on it. Um, basically it's got one notch it can only go in one way on one prong. So when you get to your cap set you'll plug it in and then thread the cap the handle of the plug to lock the handle on so it's tight. On the other end, say it's a 30 amp service. So in the compartment up in the front, we had the park adapter. So if you are plugging in at home, you can use the adapter and that'll allow you to plug the trailer into your driveway. 
This is your fresh tank fill. So if you're at a site where you don't have service, you'll fill this tank and use the water pump in the trailer to get your water through your system. These vents here are just service panels for the back of your fridge. Up in the top here is a range hood vent. Inside it's dark there, but there's a flap in there which has a transport cover. So when you're driving on the highway, you'll have to close that. When you get to where you wanna to go to camp and it's ready to go, you'll reach up and pop the vent out and then that'll allow your exhaust from your range hood to come outside. This exhaust from your furnace. And this here's your hot water tank. So hot water tank is gas and electric. Um, it's in here if you're running electric at your trailer. So switch down here, which is uh, off or on. That's gonna be your electric switch. So once you know your tank is full, which is simple, you can flip your pressure release valve and we know we have water. So then we can turn the switch on on electric so we don't burn out the element. Inside is the control for your switch for the propane. You can use both at the same time. So if you're having a shower and you want faster recovery, you can use the propane while you're inside. Um, and that'll give you quicker recovery, a couple minute longer shower. Now we'll open up the awnings. In the hallway here, there is a switch here for the awning, which will open the one above 